Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 11th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at the sun for the past 48 hours, as we've seen an M-class solar flare, minor, and as well a couple strong C-class solar flares, plasma filaments to watch, and as well coronal hole, which was Earth-facing, increasing our solar winds up and over 500 kilometers per second. Looking here, cresting into view, a couple pretty big and active sunspot regions. Cresting into view, M-class solar flare coming from the northern one there. And then outgoing, we do have big plasma filament dancing on the surface right now. Both southern hemisphere and northern hemisphere of our sun. So keeping an eye on those over the next 24 hours. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events, and as well in the bottom left-hand corner, showing the magnetic field in action during a coronal hole, which is now Earth-facing, and as mentioned, increased our solar winds. On average, they are about 300 kilometers per second. Right now, they're up and over 500 almost 600 kilometers per second. Amazing days to be alive and amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for pressing play tonight. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up if you're enjoying the show. Get in the comments section. Let me know where you're watching from. Having a look at sunspot regions in motion as we have five, sorry, five sunspot regions that are Earth facing. And that one that quickly formed equatorial region earth facing has since diminished but we've got some pretty big regions on the left hand side turning into view more importantly sunspot 3990 and as well 3989 both primed sunspots 3986 looks pretty good too current space weather conditions we are under r1 minor radio blackout impacts expected Minor degradation to high frequency radios. Solar winds right now 524 kilometers per second. Solar X ray flux, as you can see there, two strong C class solar flares and an M class solar flare the last 24 hours. Yesterday was pretty quiet. Proton flux is a little bit low. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP5 night prior and hung out in a KP4 right up until about now. Space Weather Prediction Center here showing the most recent space weather that is heading heading our way, including the coronal hole, which that long equatorial region coronal hole is about to start smashing our planet. Having a look at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing an outgoing CME detected as well, and that is visible on Lasco 3. A little yellow circle on the right-hand side, that is Earth. Showing here our magnetic field in action as it's being pounded by over 500 kilometers per second. Solar winds, right-hand side showing the pressure, left-hand side showing the wind speeds as they have accelerated at one point over 600 kilometers per second. Having a look at Lasco 3, amazing images of our sun for the past two days. Mercury riding by underneath there about to finish its retrograde as it was riding by on the opposite side of the sun. No new major CMEs headed our way, but we are expecting some solar storms. Minor instability is expected. Minor likelihood of aurora forecast as well. Looking at tonight and tomorrow, not too much to talk about. Earthquakes, on the other hand, that's another thing as Greece is still popping off northeast of Santorini at the Colombo volcano in Santorini. Expecting an underwater eruption here soon. 4.6 earthquake there, Croatia, as well a rare earthquake reported Morocco yesterday, right on the Strait of Gibraltar. African plate has been a hot spot as of late, pretty much since Christmas. 4.4 earthquake there, up at the Tibetan Plateau, 
Indian Plate reporting a 4.4 earthquake there, Burma Microplate, as well as 5.4 earthquake, Mid-Atlantic Ridge, South South Indian Mid-Atlantic, no deep earthquakes through Tonga, only reporting the 5.0. That's way too quiet for the Fiji region. We've seen what it's like daily. Deep earthquakes here, feet in Japan, but not very deep, about 70 kilometer depth. Notable activity up into Alaska. Then we get to the United States. Petrolia, California, reporting a 4.1 earthquake today. Multiple earthquakes spreading westward out into out towards Kilauea. USGS is reporting 257 earthquakes in the past 24 hours across this map. As you can see, a lot of new red earthquakes, which are most recent all around California, as it is a hot spot right now. Looking at the earthquakes from the point of the California coastline spreading westward to Ferndale. Notable there, Almanor, California, Bluff, California, Olancha. This is all recent as well. Minor seismicity all around San Francisco Bay. We've got minor seismicity at Yellowstone. 16 earthquakes the past 24 hours. But look at where these earthquakes are. Just underneath the old Yellowstone Lake, which is pretty much Yellowstone Volcano Caldera. Massive caldera that it is. 14, 16 earthquakes reported there the last 24 hours. Pacific Northwest seeing activity as well. Mount Rainier and Mount St. Helens. Minor seismicity at these volcanoes in the Pacific Northwest. Heads up, stay aware and prepared. And thank you so much for subscribing and pressing play today. Welcome to the family. Looking across the rest of U.S., not much to talk about. Pretty quiet. Quiet through the Caribbean plate as well, considering we just saw that 7.6 earthquake Cayman Islands. South American plate, very quiet. But notable deep earthquakes, San Antonio de la Cobros. Heads up, Pacific plate right up to the Juan de Fuca. I'm expecting something big here, folks. This is a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers across the world. Largest being a 7.6 Cayman Islands, which originally came in as an 8.0 magnitude. Preliminary reports. We've got Greece popping off. We've got the Strait of Gibraltar with a 5.1 earthquake. Very interesting seismic developments across our world right now. And much love. If you live in an earthquake-prone zone, just be ready. Stay aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. Having a look at our sulfur dioxide emissions forecast, brought to you by our 76 active and erupting volcanoes. Big plumes still coming out of Kilauea, Mexico, and Japan. Notable plume coming out of China, India, Central Africa. Other than that, No new eruptions to talk about. But keeping an eye on the North Atlantic and as well all through the Mediterranean, North Africa, expecting something big here, a volcanic eruption or a large earthquake of some sort. But it's coming, folks. Please, just be aware. Hashtag no fear here, just aware and prepared. Now let's have a look at world weather. Big systems coming through this week. Big blizzard system heading towards Greenland. Swinging back towards Quebec. Winter storm conditions for Ontario will quickly scoot northeastward towards the Atlantic. Strong system moving up the southeast regions of uh, um, United States and then into the Atlantic provinces. High pressure ridge building in for the long range forecast. But that's going to be a cold high pressure ridge. But we've still got some pretty intense lows coming in from the Pacific Long-range forecast should be a doozy. Look at all these low-pressure systems lined up through the North Atlantic. Amazing times, my friends and family. Overlooking Africa and South America. Daily evaporation rains. Stronger systems at play. 15th into the 16th for South America through Argentina. And as well, South Africa. 
Watch for lingering low pressure systems there, bringing tons of moisture. Watch for flood alerts. And possible cyclone heading towards Madagascar in the long range. Overlooking Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia. You've still got six tropical storms spinning around the Australian continent. Stretching from the Heard Island volcano to New Zealand. Watch for some pretty intense weather to head and affect eastern parts of Australia and New Zealand. Possible cyclone in the long range could be a doozy for northeast Queensland. Leave you here looking at the Pacific Ocean as we've still got that large low spinning right up and over Kamchatka right now, heading up into the Bering Strait. It circles out back into the Pacific and heads towards Alaska in the long range. Watch for some pretty heavy snowfall totals towards Alaska and parts of northern BC, like I'm talking 400 to 500 centimeters of snow with these strong systems that will be pounding the coastline up there. Having a look at the snowfall accumulations for the next 10 days, as the greens are about 10 to 15 centimeters, yellows 25, reds upwards of 90 to 100. But when you get into these pinks up here and purples, we're talking about 400 to 500 centimeters of snow falling in parts of northern BC and Alaska and the corner border of Whitehorse. But again, snow will be falling right across North America, heavy accumulations through Sierra Nevadas and California, Oregon. This is a look at temperature forecast right up until the end of the month. Got a couple pretty special days coming up. Everybody, hope you're able to spend time with your loved ones. And much love to you all. Thank you for being a part of this family. Being a part of this amazing channel and awareness. Siberian Polar Vortex is not done with us just yet. Still going through our February freeze and another at least five weeks of winter. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due.